Well, hi everybody. This is a video for students at the undergraduate level at Lee University and at the graduate level at Pentecostal Theological Seminary. And the purpose of this video is to show you how to use a very powerful tool called the ATLA database. This tool will allow you, wherever you are, to download academic journal articles for free that pass as qualified sources in both programs, both Lee and Pentecostal Theological Seminary. I realize that many of you are online students, you're scattered across the country and even the world, and access to a theological library might be hours and hundreds of miles away. By learning to master the ATLA database, you do not need to leave your house to get solid, qualified sources for your research paper. So I'm gonna to try to share my screen right now and walk you through how this works. Okay. So you see, yeah, you should see Google right now, and I'm simply going to Google U Lee University Library, and you'll see it come up. And from here, uh, it's very, very simple. On the right side, uh, you'll see databases. Click that, and scroll down to religion and philosophy, religious studies, and you'll see the first option is the ATLA religion database. Click on that and you'll be prompted to sign in. The passwords, which you all have access to as students at PTS and Lee, the username is fall2014 and the password is think. And I hit submit and it should open up the database. Let me just show you um, a few tricks here. Uh, in the middle of the screen on the bottom, there is a box that says full text. That's the only thing you need to worry about checking or messing with in terms of creating a more advanced search. And this simply means that the tool is only going to pull up sources that are immediately downloadable via the database. If you don't hit full text, you're gonna get a ton of uh, source listings, um, only a smaller percentage of which are even available online as PDF documents, which doesn't really help you. So let me pick on uh, the Corinthian students first. So let's say you're writing on 1 Corinthians 9. What I typically do, although you can search by keyword and subject, I simply just put in the chapter and see what comes up. Now, not everything that comes up is gonna be relevant to my paper or even to 1 Corinthians 9, but a lot is. You'll see we've got, um, I have it sorted by date. So this is a 2014 article. Um, here's an article about the rhetorical context of chapter 9 within the larger conversation about eating uh, idle meat, 2013 article, and on and on we go. And to, to access the article, all you do is click on the PDF below, and there is a tab up above that says download the PDF, and you have it right there. This is actually a book review. Um, but you can download that you can save this to your hard drive and it is yours to keep after looking at that you can go back and look at the other options uh, you might you definitely want to notice uh, here the publication type and there is a way uh, to uh, well down here if you wanted to only do reviews I'm sorry if you wanted to cancel reviews you could do so, so that now I'm looking at specific articles rather than reviews of books that have been written. And that's how to use the ATLA database.